So a very good evening and welcome back to another video. And welcome back to Nutwood. It's somewhere I came a couple of weeks ago and did some macro photography and tonight we're just going to take some photos of some trees. Now I'm hoping as the sky starts to clear we're going to get some little pockets of light along the tracks and the paths and everything and hopefully we'll be able to play with that a little bit. So with that being said, I have a shot lined up on the back of the camera. So I'm going to move this about and we're going to take the first photograph and hopefully we're going to start off with something nice. All right, so for the first image I have in mind is just this track leading out into the distance. So there's a lot of greenery at the end of this track. There's a few trees scattered along either side of it, but there's also some little pockets of light coming down and shining up on the track like there is right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take this photograph. Now, we're underexposing this by a stop, and that is purely just to keep the highlights in the background um, from blowing out. So we're at F5, a thirteenth of a second, and ISO 200. So there's the first photograph taken, just of a, a track away with some highlights and some trees and everything. So I'm going to throw that on the screen for you to see, and I'm going to head off, hopefully get a little bit further in and amongst the trees. So here's the first image, and I'm going to head off down the track and see what else is about tonight. So next up, we've got this old tree stump. I quite like it because it's just sort of in the middle of the track with all the orange around it and it's just an island of green in the middle of the track. I've got my 16 to 35 millimeter lens on my Canon 7D and I'm thinking I'm gonna shoot this at a reasonably wide aperture just to blare out some of the background a little bit and just really isolate this tree stump in the middle. Um, you can tell the wild garlic is, is growing because it smells really, really nice in here at the minute, but Oh, well, that's just another another subject for another day is wild garlic, I think. But yeah, I'm going to throw the camera on the tripod. I think lower down, roughly at my eye level, where I am about now, is probably the best angle to take this photograph from. So I'm going to get everything set up and then we'll take the photograph. All right, so once again, I'm on my knees and getting muddy. So the camera is in a vertical orientation. So that's kind of how I had this in mind, just a nice wide angle, making the log and the tree stump and all the greenery around it is the big foreground interest. And at f5.6, that is the widest available aperture that I've got. There's allowing me to get the log and the greenery around it in focus. And after that, everything sort of drifts off into a nice blurry background. So I'm underexposing this by uh, a little under a stop. I'll say two thirds of a stop. There's some highlights in the background that I just want to keep from blowing out. So I'm just underexposing this ever so slightly. So we're at F5.6, a fifth of a second, and I saw 200. And um, I did have to go around and clean some litter up around this area before I set this up because people are scruffy. And it's kind of what this area where I live can be a bit like sometimes, but we're not going to go down that rabbit hole. So um, no blinking highlights, that's always a good thing. So here's a second image and I head down the track and just see what else is about um, in Nutwood tonight. So. Here's the second photo. Thank you. 
All right, so this next one is gonna seem really, really weird to a lot of people, and it seems really, really weird to me. I'm using a three-stop soft edge graduated filter in the woods. Um, what I've got down here, I've got this log, and it's, it's quite shady where I am right now, so there's not an awful lot of light on this log, but in the background, the trees have been illuminated by the setting sun, and there's just this awesome glow in the background, but every time I was trying to explore for the log, it was blowing the background out. So we've put a grad on, and it seems to have solved the problem. It's backwards to me, it's probably backwards to you, but it's working, so it is what it is, isn't it? Um, so we're F3.5, a thirteenth of a second, and ISO 200, and I just really, really like the glow of the trees in the background of this photograph. Now, I've taken that at a reasonably wide aperture. What I'm gonna do now is just for my own peace of mind, I'm going to stop this right the way down to what F8, and we're hopefully gonna get some focus on some trees in the background. Now, that's given me a half second F8 and ISO 200. Now, um, whichever one of those two images I prefer the most, I will throw on the screen. See, I've got a feeling looking off the camera, it's gonna be the first one, but whichever one make the cut, here it is. So I can safely say with almost 100% certainty, this is probably gonna be the last visit I'm gonna to make to the woods until probably at least early October time. Now everything is just very, very green and essentially it's all one color now. Then you get a little bit of, a little bit of dry leaf litter on the floor and some, some contrast and some colors in the, in the leaves when the sun's shining on them. But for the most part, woodland does become a bit of a chore over the summer months. So I think I can safely say this is gonna be the last a last visit to the woods for a few months. Now, I know in these woods there is a bench and I think it's just a little bit further up this track. Um, when I first picked up a camera several years ago, it was one of the first photos I ever took and I think we're gonna go back and try that one again. Um, back in the day, you know, when you over edit things and you discover that you can make skies purple and leaves brown and all them kind of crazy, crazy, crazy colors. So I think we're gonna go try that one again. We're gonna go find the bench and hopefully take a nice photograph of that, which is probably going to be the last image tonight. It's a bit windy and it's getting a bit cold now, so yeah. Enough talking, let's go down there and find the bench. Hopefully, take a nice photograph of it. All right, so this is the bench that I was going to come and photograph, but there's no light around here, and the only composition that I had in mind was the one, well, was the shot that you saw of me walking up to the bench, but I think that'll probably work better at sunrise when the sun is behind everything, rather than over there. As you can see, it's very flat around here, so there's no point trying to take a photograph of it, but I have enjoyed myself tonight. I've made a, a bit of a decision tonight just to come out and take photos that I see rather than walking around trying to find something that's technically very nice or looking for perfection. Just take photographs of things that I find interesting. And I've, I've kind of done that tonight and I'm hoping 
you know, the images are going to turn out all right. It's usually when I come to the woods, it's a bit of a struggle and a chore and I don't really enjoy it all that much. But tonight, a bit of a change of mindset and I'm curious to see how this turns out when I get home and see the images on the computer. So with that being said, I think it's going to time to end tonight's video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it tonight. Um, please do give it a thumbs up because it does help the channel out and it brings new viewers to see my content and I do always appreciate that. And you can always hit the subscribe button somewhere down there and you'll see more nonsense from myself in the future. So until the next time, I'm going to say peace and goodbye.